Like we are going to get a Santa rally or not? I think Santa, Santa has been more or less smashed by Omicron. Uh, it's fairly clear that's the case. The Santa rally in Australia, for instance, takes place five days before Christmas. US, it takes place after Christmas. However, there's no little indication of a strong Santa rally. Now, that rally also takes place because there's low liquidity in that period between Christmas and New Year. So it doesn't take much to move markets in that sense. So I wouldn't be Indeed. backing a Santa rally at this stage. OK, fair enough. All right. How's the Nasdaq look? NASDAQ, NASDAQ is showing a head and shoulder pattern. Now, this is really important. You can see that there's the head, so you obviously the peak. You go back to the left and you can see that minor peak. We're looking for a new rally and retreat, which may take place over that Christmas period, Christmas New Year period. If that's confirmed, that gives us a head and shoulder pattern. That's a downside reversal pattern. The immediate target for that would be projected somewhere around 14,000. So we're looking at downside pressure rather than a continuation of upside pressure at this stage. However, if we're wrong, then the upside's around um, 17,000. But we think at this stage that the downside factors are stronger than the upside factors. And there's some fundamental reasons for that, even though we don't normally talk about them. Uh-oh, hearing downside, that word again doesn't sound good. Uh, Daryl, if we could uh, uh, stretch the horizontal axes way back, let's say, take it back three, four years or so. I mean, one of the big questions people are asking as we tail out of 2021 is, look, this is going to complete what's known in sports as a three-peat, right? Three years of gains for Wall Street and strong ones, in fact, and that's pretty rare. It's only happened about nine times since, uh, I think, 1928. And begs the question, what happens in that fourth year? Usually, historically, gains are much, much more moderate, anywhere between uh, uh, mid-single digits to high single digits. Have you had a chance to look back at the charts stretching that far when you pull that horizontal axis? And what does it tell you about uh, what's in store for Wall Street next year? OK, so when we stretch back, as you're saying, if you look at, let's say, the December-January period for each of end of those years, we find that there were no strong signals of trend reversal. There were strong signals of trend continuation taking place. That was no problem. So we were quite confident in saying, yes, this bull market is likely to continue. But this year, for the first time, we're seeing the development of potential trend reversal signals. Now, that doesn't mean the market's going to collapse in January. Those signals are not yet strong enough to tell us that. But it does tell us that there is more selling pressure coming into this market, less buying pressure in there. When the market falls, investors aren't prepared to step into it. So, yes, this situation is very different from the situation in year one, year two, now into year three.